Up next, let's get back to some sci-fi. Hey everybody, Kenny Conklin here from HobbyLinkInternational.com and welcome to another YouTube video. Glad to have you with us after the last debacle on the 1951 Chevy. Thank you all for stopping by and watching that. The rusting went well, but the rest, eh, not so much. So time to give up on that one, put it in the box and use it for something later. And let's get back to some of that sci-fi stuff that we used to do. So our next build is going to be a sci-fi build and let me show you what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing a little buddy build of the Space Pirate Battleship Arcadia. I'm going to be doing this with a friend Richard from HLI. You can check out his build going on over at the site. I have the smaller version, the 2500 scale. He's got the 1500 scale, so I'm not lighting mine. Mine will be just a regular build and paint job. So let's take a quick look at this kit. So let's just do a quick unboxing of this kit. Sorry about the glare on the box. It's a nice shiny box. We got the picture of the Arcadia on front. Captain Harlock on the bottom. Shows you a few pictures of the completed build on the side, and it just has Arcadia on the other side. So let's take a look inside the box. First thing we'll take a look at is the instruction sheet. Goes through the sprues, and then it's a fold out onto what we're gonna be doing. It looks fairly simple and clean. Then on the back here, it actually has the color call outs. The one that makes me laugh the most is semi-gross black, which I actually went looking for that and there's no such thing. Uh, that should be semi-gloss black. And then this one just says propeller color. So I guess you'll just pick out whatever color you want for the propeller. And over here, this made me chuckle a little bit too. This says, please use the flag. Of course we're gonna use the flag. We gotta put it back over here. So that's it on the directions, nice and simple. Just be aware if you do get this kit, it has a correction in here for step number nine to tell you how to properly do the parts over here. And then we have our decal sheet. The decals look good, they're nice and thin. They have decals for the window, the filigree. I don't know what that is, like little clam scallops. The name for the base, I'm sure it is. And a few more parts with the skulls and stuff like that. The skull decals I probably won't use if they're big parts. I know the front one is. I'll probably be painting those up because I do like to paint bones. Otherwise, it's a pretty basic and simple decal sheet. Like I said, there's only two bags in the box. One is our base here and one is our parts to the kit. This is your clear base. It has a little stand. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. It does look pretty good. It's clear, so it's supposed to make it look like it's in flight, but I may change the base up on this one a little bit. I know it's hard to see because of how clear it is, but it's not bad. Everything's flash free. The first sprue I'm going to pull out of the bag, and what I like is they're all colored sprues, is the skull for the front of the ship, and this is the ram or battering ram. Ram. I'm probably not going to use this one because I don't like it. I like the ship how it is. Again, flash free, very well casted piece. On this sprue, we have the guns. Here's some cannons here, and here's the barrels there. I'm going to see if I can open up the tips. Uh, they are kind of small, so I don't want to ruin those. And then we just have more pieces of the ship. We have the engine. We have some fins or wings over here. Looks like an antenna. Each piece, I'm not going to keep reiterating it, has been done very clean. No flash. Very well molded. Here we have some internal parts to put the ship together, and we also have the windows for the back of the ship. And this is the reason I'm not lighting it. Look at how tiny those windows are. There's no way I'd be able to drill those out without ruining the windows. So we're going to try the decals. If those look good, we'll use those. If not, we'll paint the windows in. Again, on this sprue, we have interior parts to hold the ship together. And then we have the back deck. They have nice filigree around here, which I'm sure you should use the decals over it if you want to. I shouldn't say should, because you could also paint these up. I may try to paint these and see how that comes out, but that might be a little difficult at this scale. And this is just all the back of the ship. We've got the little pirate back there, uh, the skull and crossbones. That I may use the decal on. I'll see if I can paint that little guy up too. Here we have most of the main body of the ship. Ship. We have the hull here, more hull pieces and engines. They did cast the skull and crossbone on the sides, so I'll try to paint those. I'm sure those decals are supposed to be used over here, so you don't have to paint them, but I'll try to paint those up and weather them nicely. And then we have more wings and body parts of the ship, and another tiny little skull over here, and that looks like that's the main bridge. This is the last runner of the ship. We have the main bridge over here. We have more engines, parts of the body of the ship, more guns up in the corner. Again, these are very small, so it might be hard to pop those out. A few more antennas, and that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to this kit. And the last piece in the poly bag is the main bow section of the ship. It's all one piece, so you don't have to worry about putting two halves together and trying to do any type of seam work over here. Nice detail, recessed panel lines, which is nice. We can throw a wash in there, and hopefully that comes out nice. So so that's it, what's in the box. 
Thanks for stopping by everybody. Always appreciate you guys coming over here. If you haven't yet, please hit that like button because it does help the algorithm know that you guys like this content and it spreads it to more people on YouTube. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. So this should be a nice, fun, simple build. Just paint and build and we'll put her on our little stand and then we'll put it on a display shelf once we get one of those in the garage. But again, everybody, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for stopping by and we hope to see you all soon. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.